Hey yo, what is up y'all? And thank you for joining me on Coolman Productions. And if you are still my subscribers and welcome back to the channel. And for today's video, if you guys have been wondering why, how I make my thumbnails, how I upload and edit it, and how I do my merch, how I sell them and customize them. But today I'll show you how I done it. But before I get into today's video, I dropped some new merch, which I don't have it with me. I have to get myself one pretty soon. And I also got another one that I'm excited to announce. I'll show you in a snap of the fingers. Yes, you saw that. I have the CMP sliced up logo and I have posters of me like I'm pretending I'm holding my logo and smiling and it says Coolman Productions, G-Man here and my autograph signature down below. So if you want those, the link is in the description down below, but let's get, today's, let's get in today's video. Alrighty you guys, to get started. You sign up your YouTube channel, name it how whatever you want, and also, if you want to design your own logo, just go, here, let me try again, let me just go to the newer update, hold on, be right back, here we go, you go to here, your channel, and you click on this You go into this, and then you'll see, upload a video, choose whatever you want, that you customize. But to customize, here's a cool way to get there. Let's go to Google Slides, where I customize each logo. Just click here. Like, I'll go to this one right here. Still loading. And after you get a design like this, you go to download. If you have Google Chrome computer, and then you download it as PNG image, and you'll see this is this. And then you just do it how you like. Oh, no, 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 no. Now, to create an art channel like I have, oh, uh, let me go to the next scene, be right back. Next is to, if you wanna create a custom art channel, there's a way is to go to Google Slides and this is my second channel. If you want to go check out this channel, there's the link to my second channel, which you can go to it right now and subscribe to it. But let's move on. Now I just saved up this little guide right here onto my files. This is what you should get. And you'll find that on Google Images. Save it so you can customize how whatever you want. And let's get off this. I don't want to show you that. And then you just try to make it small like this. And that's how you create a thumbnail. I mean, a art channel. <clears throat> Next thing is if you're wondering how I got these little links up here, it's really easy. You have to go to this old version of YouTube and you find that says links and you just 
click on this little pencil thing and you can add everything like I got my second channel Instagram Facebook and my merch website you just click on like your website you can go to it you can follow them and it'll automatically set right up here on the top right corner of your art channel so you don't have to just like type it down the old-fashioned way and that's how you do it now the way I did sign up my merch web website is this is a this one is good this is called teespring.com you sign up for free and you don't there's no monthly payments and you sign up for free and then there's the amount of products that you could choose yeah just click on it get your logo and also you got to sized up on your on your artwork because if you just download it without sizing it it's too small and you can't make it big so Teespring will only be able to accept your logo like to this one you gotta make it like this perfect size and then I'll show you my website and here are all the products I got on my store. I got t-shirts, standard ones, hoodies, iPhone cases, tapestries, coffee mugs, pillows, blankets, Samsung phones, limited edition CMP t-shirts with blue flames background, the sliced logo and the poster I showed you just a few minutes ago. Yeah. And you just click on whatever you want and then add your cart. And kids, do not steal your parents' credit cards. Ask your parents permission before buying your merch online. And thank you. And also, I forgot to tell you the way to design your merch. I have a merch design, but I'm not supposed to show you this till next week, but I'm going to show you this earlier. Next week, I'm dropping some new merch just in time for Halloween, but this is the design I got. This is the, the skeleton crossbones. One side will say Coleman Productions, and the other says Coolness Awaits, and there's the logo on top. Yeah, and this is how I design my logos for merchandise. So if you want these, I will have these in a link next week for the next video. And these shirts will be available for a limited time. So if you want these, they will be gone the day after Halloween. So get it while you can. Last but not least, thumbnails. Now you just, like I said, go to Google Slides and you can get rid of these or if you still want to keep them. I always delete these. Just get rid of these. And it's free, so you don't have to purchase an app where you can customize, where some of them we have to pay like monthly payments. Okay. If you want a background, I have some save up images, which I save them all up on my, I'll just select my blue flames. And click done. And you can design how you want but 
if you find a picture that on Google, like like I did for this, and I hope this isn't copywriting, but if you go to this one, it says photo editor pixler X, and you choose whatever you like. Here, I'll do this one since you will know. And then to get rid of the background, here's these little pair of scissors, remove. And here's a trick way to get it faster instead of doing just a, like this. Like that. I hope you can see that. See those little checker size background where it's empty. And you could do that for pictures. Here, I'll show you. Let me exit out and load up a picture of my old ones. I'll choose this one. Get this. Ooh, no, 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 no. You gotta do it the old fashioned way if you're having a picture like this with a paintbrush. Make sure you don't ruin it. Okay. Yeah. This is how I cut up. Once your thumbnail is complete, you will do like how you, I did with the logo. You just go to your website and and here are all the custom thumbnails I've saved over a year. These are the first 33 episodes, and this is episode 34. Oh, and also guys, I don't have like a website on my computer right there to edit it, videos. I use my phone like it's recording right now. And I use this app called video shop where I edit my videos. Yeah. And then I will get a two screen computer where I can have good editing in the future. And be warning you guys, when you buy thumbnails, don't recommend you get this kind because when I bought this from Staples, these thumbnails are a piece of garbage. So don't recommend you get these. Get buy these like at Walmart or Dollar General. Those are the best places where you get thumbnails. Don't recommend buy those at Staples. Well, these types, not these. Different brands that light up or something, not like classic ones. And also, I already showed you all the cameras and my previous episodes, but this is, I'm using my phone to record, but this is my GoPro, which I used. And also, I'll get a, I'll get like a vlogging camera that's 4K, that like flips the screen, and I'll have a microphone so you can hear me better. I'll get that pretty soon. Yeah. Pretty about much it. Let's get into the intro. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. And if you enjoyed it, and if you like how it's helpful, just make sure you smash that like button, and this will help you. Just keep practicing your own as best you can, because I've been doing my YouTube career for about a year and a half. If you want to do your YouTube career on your own, this video will help you and be sure to keep an eye out for more of and until next time on CMP